There's stuff to talk about every day. I think a new company fails every day. You could talk about three months ago. Is every company was getting funded? Hilarious. Three comes ago, three months ago, they were hiring like it's nothing. Funding article, funding article, funding article. Funding I would article. think a smarter. I mean, you're obviously not going to make more money than an impressive or a successful crypto exchange. But just talking about crypto news makes a whole lot of money in itself. True. Just being on the media side of it. Media is a, you can, you can be a mogul. Apparently it's less risky. From what? Because you're not from a, because you're not dealing with other people's money. Sure. That's like my biggest fear. I don't want to deal with millions of dollars of other people's money. Oh, I love that. Making more money. Like, unless they're in, no, like I'm talking about customers. Nah, I don't like customers. I'm not talking about investors. That shit's fucking frightening. Also, an exchange business isn't the best business ever. Yeah, because you gotta like even just borrow like, money from other fucking. Like you're just kind of a. You're, it's a whole bunch of scraping. Apparently, Binance has enough money to hire like 400 more people. Binance seems like some cats that maybe they got something buried deep down there, and especially because remember um. The cat that was heading their U.S. branch for like three weeks and then left. That was a little bit of a red flag. But um, Biden's got some systems. They got some systems. They probably got some friends in high places. But that guy might be the richest guy in the world one day. There was a very nice article about CZ. Chinese, eh? Yeah. Chinese, crazy how you have to have a Chinese and a U.S. company. Like CEO, Alibaba's the same way, right? No, Alibaba's only China. It's not Alibaba U.S. Yeah, interesting. Gotta have, gotta have divisions, gotta have branches, gotta have franchises. Like McDonald's, but with money. They just hired the head of PayPal. Former head of PayPal. As their CFO. Wasn't there someone who was head of a something <laughs> gaming? Someone head someone, what? someone hired something that was a former head of like a gaming Reddit gaming or something gaming. Oh, oh I don't know. Oh, okay. Um I don't know. I love how <laughs> someone told me that uh if you want to hire somebody good or somebody important, only important people already have jobs, so you have to poach them from other companies. If you're I mean, looking for an executive, they're not going to be unemployed. Yeah, sometimes. Getting an experience. Unless they were fired. Getting an experienced executive who's done what you're trying to build before you. Usually someone's like uh, retired or something. Or you got to take a lot of talent from other people. Which is a whole system in itself to learn about. Just be like, hey man, how much are you getting paid? All right, double to do that for me. At that point, good. probably need to be more along the lines of, this is more fun to build for me. They probably got enough money. Top CEOs for 2022, says Barons. 24 of them. Who do you think's on the list? At what point, though, do you think is enough money? You think a four hundred thousand dollar CEO wouldn't leave for eight hundred grand? No, that's nothing. <laughs> that's nothing. That's double your money. That's what I'm saying. 